Salutations, my fellow dandies. It's me, Jack Dandy. And we're back in Pokemon Legends Arceus for the third time in two days because I freaking love this game and I just want to keep playing it. So we're going to put another... We're going to put some more time in. How dare you? Brain Deer is an amazing name. He turns into a psychic deer. All right. He's a he he evolves into a psychic deer. He's a reindeer. He's awesome. And then you got to the bit where you're trying to catch a Pichu. So uh, I'll, I'll catch you up basically on where we are. Uh, some more Pokemon have become enraged. I have beaten them up or thrown food at them until they stopped. That's basically it. The plot's not super heavy in this one, which is fine, because the gameplay is more than making up for it. Um, we're, we're sort of potentially building up to... Uh, something. Like, it's not clear. They, they sort of pointed the finger at one girl. They pointed the finger at my uh, my new favourite character. Like, oh my god, my hairstyles are bold and stylish. She's, she's awesome. Um, but she, she wasn't the cause. So we still don't know who the cause is. I still reckon it's the guy working for these traders who is who's the bad guy. I think the traders themselves are fine, but I feel like he's probably he just feels too suspicious. I don't know what his end game is. But um, no, no more named Pokemon yet because this game is drip feeding us Hisuian Pokemon. So I've still only got Grass Kicker and Brain Deer. I did look up to see how to get Hisuian forms for some of the Pokemon I can catch. So, I can go and catch a Petalil, but to evolve it into a Hisuian Linagant, I need a Sunstone. Sunstones you can only find randomly, or you can buy them from here for a thousand points. I don't have a thousand points. Um, so I think you can get one from here. Yes. So I need a sunstone, 1,000 points. I only have 120, so I can't get that yet. I can evolve a Scyther into a Cleavor, but to do that, I need a Black Algite. Also, a rare item that I don't have that you get from Smashing Rocks. I could evolve an Ursaring into a Ursaluna, but I need to find a Clay, a Peat Stone, I think it's called, with the Ursa Luna mount that I've got. It is a rare drop. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go on to the next... Oh, that takes up a slot. Oh, right. I was wondering what the deal was, was with those. Okay, let's make some space. We're going to go to a new island now. Um, we've unlocked the third region, which sounds like a coastal region. So lots of water Pokemon. I'm hoping that let's move those for the time being I'm hoping that I can catch a normal Hisuian Pokemon in the third region if I can, if we get to the end of this stream and I still haven't caught any what I will do, because the next stream's not going to be until next Saturday. As much as I would love to keep playing this, I also don't want to burn myself out on it. So the next stream will be Saturday after this. Uh, so I've got a week where I can go and mop up research tasks. I can do side quests. And I will get all the evolution stones for all of the Pokemon that I can't evolve yet. And so next week, I can start with a load of Hisu in Pokemon. So, uh, we were riding a bear. So, I've got a bear and a weird deer. So, I can ride both now. Salutations, Citratus. Welcome back. Yeah, I can ride a bear and a weird deer now. I think I'm going to get a fish at the end of this. Which is, again, I also can't evolve because I probably need some stupid item. Uh, I've got enough, sp I've got enough slots in my bag, I think. Uh, I could probably... Actually, how much... I got some stuff. I went into a interdimensional portal as well. And I did get some. How much do these sell for? 5,000. So I can get 10,000. 
I need to find the tra I, there must be a trader or something for these things. That's only going to be a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's the guy who wanted this? Was he outside? I might as well turn that in, because I went to the effort of making that. Where was he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Let's go grab one. Might as well turn this in, and then we'll head to the new region. So, yeah. They, uh, they really... There are... There are Hisuian Pokemon that you don't have to evolve in stupid ways. It's just that all of the Hisuian Pokemon we've found so far, you have to evolve in stupid ways. What's this? It's a, that's a Pokeshi Dart if I ever saw one. Please have a closer look. Ah! Oh, amazing! Just look at how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And those colours! You've definitely given a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this Bokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains uptight. Phew. Thank you. I've stayed with your Bokeshi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Bokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Yeah, again, that's my isekai powers at work there. I'm just instantly skilled at everything I do. Yeah, I'll give you a Bokeshi doll I made. I did take growing crafting it, so look and see how it differs from the one you made. So my reward for making a Pokeshi doll... Oh, and I'm pronouncing it Pokeshi, but it's obviously Pokeshi doll. Was to get another Pokeshi doll. Great. Thanks. Well, those are both going in the chest. So... Just FYI... I have, I have so many items that are like... It wouldn't come... It could be sold to the general store. Oh! How much can it be sold to the general store for? A thousand? Oh. That's not a bad little earner. Fair enough. I mean, it's three pieces of wood, and they're just, I just find the wood on the, I don't have anything else to use wood for at the moment, so I guess keep an eye out for wood. What's my team looking like? Uh, Luxio, Psyduck, Benary, Staravia, that's fine. Those all, those all have evolutions. Uh, ah, if it isn't dandy. I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Palin is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be aiming to air in dirty laundry. Piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need no look further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about all the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout history will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power that Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. Now, I'll grind this fact into you here. I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Oh, if he gives me... Oh, Grit Pebbles. Grit Gravel. Okay. You should... No, that's fine. You should want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve. I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Oh, okay. So I can get them from the Ginkgo Guild. That's cool. Just empty my... Just get make some space. That was the crap he just gave me. I'm not going to faff about with effort values on the campaign. You can afford your stone. No, no, the, I, it's not. 
the 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 lady that sells the stones yeah, that she uses the currency that you get from saving other players items and you only I've only got like 160 or something like that it's uh, it, there's not a quick way of getting that currency either head outside the village are we stay safe out there kid yeah we got a new region let's go to the beachside camp so I'm better off just basically finding an evolution stone by rand because I found a random water stone so I just need to start smashing open a load of uh, rocks, and hopefully I'll find one. Or, as they said, the the um, Ginkgo Guild occasionally get them as well. I think, basically, I should not worry about too much not go out of my way. But I will worry about it and go out of my way off-stream. Ah, the Cobalt Ghostlands. A simple, lovely corner of history. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see in sky. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, maybe water flying types. I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? What about that warden? Wardens, in fact. Near in Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Polino of the Pearl Clan and Iskan of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps there'll be some help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. No, oh, I thought they said there were no uh, noble Pokemon here. But I guess they lied. You liar. I can see someone over here who's obviously going to talk to me when I go near them. But yeah, look, I got a bear. Rah! I know you can. I can actually transform the bear into the deer. It's quite convenient. Eventually, he'll become a fish and then a bird. Oh, at least she's playing a different song. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But here I am, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Why? I need to understand my weaknesses. Please do this for me. Time game. Very good. You have come. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. I should have just kept asking why, but. Go, Grass Kicker. This guy's only four times effective against you. It's fine. Wait, are you using both of your Pokemon at once? Why is everyone... God damn it. Why does everyone cheat in this freaking game? Why aren't I allowed to use two Pokemon? I need to get rid of this Glaceon, and then I can... You're a fucking cheater. You hear me? You're a cheater. Ah, can't bloody... Duh. They're a cheater, brain deer. Not much to worry about there. That one's more worrying. You okay? No. All right. Well, good work, brain deer. So much for getting any XP on this, right? It's bad. 
know if the wild Pokemon team up on me. revives do I have? I have none. Cool. Well then I won't worry. Just thunder thang the stupid rat. Is this what is this how it's gonna be? By the end of the game are you gonna attack me with six Pokemon on at the same time? Oh look at all the XP. There is no option for me to use two, no. If I try and send out another Pokemon, it just recalls the other Pokemon. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Well, at least I don't have to... At least I don't have to go back and uh, revive them. No, I don't have any revives because I use them all up, okay? They keep killing my friggin... <laughs> my for two only Pokemon I care about. All right, with you. I think you with you I can be Frank. Hello, I'm Frank. Hello, I'm Frank. Uh, hi, I'm Dandy. <laughs> I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise his successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favour to ask of you. Please, put her out of her misery. Please, help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into, her tr into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know, what, uh, I don't know of anyone I trust more to help this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. And she goes. Cool. Okay. We're in an, we're in a new world. Oh, there's a perugly. Oh, that's got the spring tail. Okay. It's a perugly. No, come back here. Don't run away. Sorry, glammy ow. Perugly is what it evolves into. There we go. Glammyow's got the spring tail. Silly me. Also, I've just realised... Oh, no, it's got more than three leaves on it. We still don't have the plant that has three leaves. Maybe it's the Roselia? I don't know. Cat! Uh, get, stop running! Cat! Cat! Sveal! Sveal, 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 Yeah. Sveal. What are you? Pop Pod. Yeah. I remember all those YouTubers doing that Pop Pod challenge. God rest their souls. What else have we got around here? This is how I would be if I ever got, like, Isekai to the Pokemon universe. It's just like, <gasps> that one, go, that one, go. That one is like, you're, you're, no, you have to catch them in moderation. You are wiping out the indigenous population of Pokemon around here. Pokeballs can't reach Pokemon flying away up high, but Featherballs are another matter. Oh. Featherballs fly pretty fast, so they're great for catching Pokemon up in the sky. Oh, okay, the light. That makes sense. Sup, loser. Ooh, this one's shiny. 
Roselia or Grandma, 99 year old, about drama. Yeah, she did have she did have leaves on her back as well. I don't know, I don't know how easily I can turn her in. Maybe I need to make. Maybe I need to sneak up on her again. Plump beans. Not like that you just spam them in the face with Pokeball. It's a lot more violent. It's the only way I know how. It, well, it's the only way I know how to catch Pokemon. It's also the most effective way. Oh, I gave my Tangler away, so be mine. I say I gave it away. The lady stole my Tangler, which I lent to her. She just decided that it was her Tangler now. Oh! Sphelia, I bet that's an alpha. And I bet I'm way too weak to fight it. Ow! Level 50. Yep, I am indeed. Run, 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 run. Oh, what's on the beach? Oh, wait, no, I really can't fight that. Oh, dang it, Geodude. Is it, is it just the Geodude? I'm oh, too far away. Good. I was going to say, I just realized I'd have to fight the Geodude alongside the uh, Alpha, and that's not a fight I can win. I need more of you. It's like I mean, basically it's like a supermarket sweep. You just run around and go as quickly as possible and go, I want one of these. I want one of these. That's what you do when you get to a new region. Ow! Was that weasel? Prick. How are you faster than me? You suck. Or rather, maybe the better, better question is, how are you slower than him? There we go. Can I see your Tangler? Hmm, Alright, thanks. Me and my Tangler need to leave now. Ta-ta. I mean, that's basically what happened. Like, there was no involvement in me at any point. It was just like, I want to see that Pokemon that's got um, the vi the vines that remind me of my hometown. Ah, oh, yes, that's the one. Right, well, I think if I keep if I keep this in my house, I'll be able to um, smell them whenever I want. Bye! I caught an Apom. Hi. Hey, excuse me. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorick? Uh, alas, I have not. Gah, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind having me track him down? I went a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Ah, oh, I sent up the coastlands camp. Okay, this is worth doing. Uh, okay, let's go down. Yeah, coast camp means more fast travel points. Wait, where did she go? Oh, she's all the way over there. Oh, she did. She freaking pegged it, didn't you? I like her style. It's basically that meme of um, that guy who passes passes the thing to guy and goes, "I made this," and then the person looks at it and goes, "I made this." It's like I caught this. Ah, oh. I caught this. Every freaking time. I mean, I wasn't exactly attached to it, so it's fine, I guess, but... You know, still. It's unacceptable. You knew him well. I, d I mean, I did. At least I'd love to say I did. Oh, that reminds me. We need to find that corpse uh, of that girl as well. That's on another level, though. That's not here. I need to make more Pokeballs in a minute. I'm just beaning everything I see at the moment. What's up, Beauty Fly? I only have one of you. See, so the thing is, is with... Because I know that I need to evolve a certain amount of them. 
there's an incentive for me just to catch the low-level ones, and then when I get to the end game, just take a load of them into a fight against a really high-level enemy. Yeah! And, um... This is the, um... The closest thing... Chat on! The closest thing they have to a macaw. Go away, Star Ravia. I don't want to fight you. I already have one of you. Get in. Bloody thing. Don't you need a giant bui buizel? There was one back there. I've been... No, that, that that's the evolved form. That's the... Uh... Floatzel. I would, I have a floatzel. There you go. Okay, th there we go. We're free. Yeah, and I'm still looking for a giant, uh, giant buizel. Go away! I'm not doing anything to you. Can I? Oh, hang on. Can you break these crates open? Oh, you can. Pokeballs. Neat. Oh, maybe I could find some, like, Lego figures or uh, rubber ducks or something. That's normally the stuff you find in these things. Oh, Pokeballs. Well, it's, it's, re it's, it's refilling my stock, you know, slowly, but it's refilling them. Wait, what? You just said I didn't have space for... What, else? what did I not have space for? Mushroom cake and grain cake. Ah, well, I don't really want them anyway. But good to know that my satchel's already filled up. Oh, I got a Thunderstone. Nice. See, this is what I mean. You just go around and smash stuff and eventually you'll get... Uh... All right, let's set up... If we go over here and set this camp up, I'll have someone to drop this stuff off. Lady, what do you want me to do? Oh, you're here. I've been waiting. Like I said, I need your help finding Yorick from the construction corps. He and I came out here to set up base camp, but then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land and hasn't come back. Yorick still ought to be somewhere nearby. If you find him, please tell him to come back here near already. Uh, alright. Oh, I have this set as the main quest. Uh, where would I be if I was a Yorick? There's nowhere high up, really. I mean, obviously, there's the mountain over there, but that's not in the immediate area. It's all... So I'm going to go get someone to get the lay of the land. But everything's flat. Maybe he's gone over here. No, I suppose I don't need to... That's the uh, fossilized remains of a giant pincer. Six feet under. Yeah. I mean, it's a dangerous place. Like, we've got these time space rifts and angry. No, the wrong one. Angry Pokemon attacking you all the time. Yeah, great balls. Smoke bomb, mushroom cake. Uh, uh, catch a will o' the wisp. I wonder if that means you can only catch one Spiritomb in the entire game, or whether. Unlocking all the unlocking that then unlocks spirit tombs. Oh, hey, I haven't actually caught one of you yet. Oh, yeah, that's because you just attack me as soon as you look. I look at you. I need to get one of you by unawares. Additional herbs.
All right, I guess, I mean, I guess I'll just do a lap of the area and see if uh, see if he shows up. He's got to be around here somewhere, right? I think this is, yeah, this is where that uh, guy took the photo of the. Uh... Oh, it's treasure. There was one, oh, there's one Pokeball and a Nugget. Oh man, the Nuggets are huge. Look at that, that's like a gold slime from Dragon Quest. Um, what can I craft? I do have enough for a revive, but I don't have space for a revive. Uh, what can I make? Full heal, no, I need that. Let's discard that. And then let's craft a revive, and that will make, yeah, salt cake, ah. uh, all right, well, I mean, I guess I can fight you, you I can definitely fight, because I need to catch you, what's the Pokemon in the sea? I don't know, I didn't see one. I'll have a look once I finish killing all these ghosts. Ah, oh, why is everything... Why is everything super effective against you? Uh... See, the problem is like, he, he, his psychic attacks aren't going to be any good here either. Alright, just fight for the time being. We'll just use a strong... Can't even false swipe these ones because they're ghosts. Yeah, there you go. Dead again. Fortunately, I just crafted a revive. <sighs> yeah, you're not going to really help to me here, brain dear. You have normal and psychic moves. You are useless. Oh, come on! See, this is why I don't fight anything. This is why I just run up and beat him in the head. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to... Just fuck off. I don't, know, I don't, I don't want to fight you. It's irritating. Ah. I'll get one of you by un caught, caught, caught unaware. Stop looking at me. God, all of them spawn in just staring at me. Where's this prick so I can drop some of this stuff off? And then I can put up a camp and I can rest. Here we go. What? What? Why? You didn't even. You can't even. You're not even looking at me now. I'm hiding. No, no, I'm not. Ah! I, I don't, can't believe he hit me. I ran away in a straight line. What went wrong? Where is this guy? Right, I'm just gonna focus on finding this guy, and then I can I'll go come back and catch these later. This isn't working. As an angry gold duck. Is this water low? Nope. There's a regular gold duck. Alright, he may have gone. Maybe he's not over here. I think I think he is dead. I think maybe I am looking for a corpse. Scatterbang. Unless I need to go swimming, which I can't do yet, because I don't have a fish. Maybe if I talk to her again, she'll give me a hint. 
Because I am... You, you can't sniff them out, can you? Nope. He just found some plump beans. Oh, right, literally the only place I haven't been, other than the islands, which I can't get to, is... I just have to keep... I guess I just keep going... Down this way. Wee, wee. Guy? Nope. Balloony ghost. I don't feel so bad now about popping all of those balloons that look like that look like you. Uh, when I go back and try that again, it'll be it'll be incredibly cathartic. And I'm back here. So where is he on the big creepy hand? He's got to be on one of the. He's got to be on the hand somewhere, right? Oh, well, maybe he's in Hideaway Bay. What's up, Apom? Ah, what do you mean? I said hi and everything. What a dick. Okay. Well, he's not in Hideaway Bay. I'm... Why is everything so... aggro? Maybe I should get some repel or something. Can I get up here? Come on. I believe in you. No. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Damn it. I just jumped straight back over. Try again. Go on. Yes. Okay, we're doing this is pretty high up. I have no space for my pet plant. Like, if I wanted to layer the land, this is a decent place to go, isn't it? I could come up here and be like, yep, yeah, there's the land. Nailed it. Ah, oh, where is he? Oh yeah, he said you could have gone far, but I don't know what their definition of far is. I'll check the fingers again though. But I because I think I only might I think I might have only checked like four three or four of them. And it looks like I didn't realise it was actually a full hand. So this is the little finger. What I'm thinking is you might be on one of the islands and I need the fish to get him. <gasps> oh, I thought that was a Gumi and it's just a tree stump. Okay. Finger number two. You know, I've I'm pretty sure I've tried these fingers, but I don't think I've tried the thumb. Oh, there he is. God damn it. St stay away! Oh, hey, stay! Ah, why is this Pokemon talking? Talk! Talk! Having fun. No, the opposite! Help me! Stop chat up. Help me! Child's great. I have to fight it. Heavens. Psyduck can manage it. Oh, it's level 34? That's a powerful chat art.
Eh. There we go. Job done. Thank goodness. I don't know if I'd have survived without you. No one told me there'd be Pokemon that talk like people out here. What a fright. Back where I grew up, folks often said that if you hear someone talk with nobody around, it's not a ghost playing tricks, it's just a chat -ot. Anyway, thank you for kindly... For, I mean, did you not have told him that then? Thank you kindly for finding Yorick. I'll have him set up camp now. Two ready and lift. And lift and... And lift and lift! Boom, we have a camp. All finished. I'm sure that awful voice I heard mimicking me was just my imagination. Oh, you big time, young Survey Corps recruit. Come take a rest here at the camp anytime you like. Boom. And the professor just skulks over. What a splendid, splendidly scenic base camp. This ought to be quite convenient for surveying Pokemon that live on the waterfront. Alright. Wait, can I swap my Pokemon with you? Oh, I can. I don't have to go back to town. Well, that's convenient. Well, let's rest. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Uh, right. I don't need that. I don't need that. Pin up berries. Catching a wild Pokemon that has eaten one of these will yield more XP points. Neat. Um... Probably should hold on to those. Sky Tumble Stone. Anything that I'm going to get more of he out here, I might as well hold on to. So, let's put these away. These. I hold on to the full heal because I feel like that's a useful item to have. Uh, don't need these. Don't need these. Don't need these. Probably don't need those. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, it's, uh, my my it's nice, but like the amount of my 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 inventory space is so limited. Thing is, I get, I'll get rid of that and then I'll immediately just pick it back up again because I get them so frequently. But I get like one at a time. I don't think I've got any cherry berries there. There we go. Okay, I've got space for 14 items. And annoyingly, it's daytime, and all of the po all of the ghost Pokemon that I don't have down here are now gone. I guess I could sleep till night and try and catch them again. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. I need a... Ah, uh, can I be bothered, actually? I guess I could do that later. That's... Can I get that pin? Can I pick that back up? Nope. Neat. Alright. Let's just... Oh, there's a load of satchels here. Norm, Richie, and Andy. I guess a lot of people have died over here. Well, this will be useful if I need to get that sunstone, so let's go and grab those. Watcha! You got anything around here you want to dig up? Uh, 
Any more poems from the, uh, the Pokemon killer? Nope, five balls of mud. Excellent work, Bear. Excellent work. So I th I've dug up some mud. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, you did. Thanks. I helped. Yeah, helped. Let's, uh... Let's say that's what you did. a big bear but he doesn't like going in big in, in water it's like float soul I am hey, a moonstone nice well, it's worth digging around with him then even if he's a bit slower but that's pro again, that's probably something I can do off stream, so let's Let's grab these is this one? Yeah. That's Andy Satchel. And there should be one from That's Combi, he's already got one of those. Whoa! A graveler leapt out. Well, this fight should be easy. Finally, something that's four times weak against me. Yeah. No! No! Damn it, how is a graveler. I, I suppose I used a strong attack. That's why he could attack twice. But come on now. Cut a graveler. Oh, hey, my uh, Luxray can evolve. My Luxio, even. Boom. Let's uh, let's perform the ritual. Sinno, sinno, oh. Sinno, sinno, oh. Do -do 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 -do. Ancient black magic to uh, make you stronger. Luxray, you have achieved full strength, and therefore you are no good to me anymore. You must be discarded. However, I will probably keep him on because he is quite useful as a backup. Um, as much as I'd like to get rid of him to level something else up. Uh, there's one. Here? Oh, that's probably that's quite far up, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Stop throwing beans at things. Stick. Yes, that's it. Baneri. Black Tumblestone. Is that new or is that what I used for my... Come on, come on, White Dweer. I believe in you. Yes. There we go. I 
I need to, if I'm gonna get the fish as well, I need to get a fish poker, uh, a water poker ball. I can't catch, I can't catch it in a normal poker ball. That would be. What's up, Perugly? much luck with the uh, stones anymore. But we're back to cap. That's the important thing. Nope, wrong button. When you hear it when you accidentally press the button that turns you into a deer. Moonstone. Which Pokemon use moonstones these days? Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Nidorino, Nidorina. I haven't seen any of those. So yeah, so that's 57 points, 95 points, 85 points. So I have 412 out of the 1,000 I need. Ooh, Ultra Balls. Do I get any gifts from those? No. Well, not anything new if I did. Okay. Let's, uh... Make a couple of revives because I'm going to need them. And let's head towards the actual mission this time. Instead of getting waylaid by, well, the new and shiny things. Ooh, something new and shiny. Oh, it's a plump bean. Good. I can replenish my stock of plump beans I've accidentally thrown at things. Bean, pep up plant. Um, so where do I need to go? So that yeah, I need to I need to go onto the. Oh, there is a satchel over here. I can quickly grab this. Whoa! Look at that machoke. Gonna machoke me out. Ah, oh, it's a score. Uh, Drapion? No, it evolves into a Drapion. What are you, Scarippy? It's got Oopy. And there's a little match out match up. Hey match up. Oh. They look so sad when they're small and running away. Ow. Oh god, those scroopies hit hard. Yeah. Ah, screw please leave me alone. I'm almost dead. Dangerous bloody world, isn't it? Right. For real this time. Still got the rocks on the way just for that that lovely sliver of a chance of getting a evolution stone I can actually use. Is the the blood effect going to go away or am I just have I got internal bleeding? What's happening? Do I get poisoned? Is it ever going to go away? Am I ever going to be the same again? 
But those two Skorupis changed me. Fundamentally. Oh, he just wanted to be helpful, did he? Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of Apons stole my pack full of goods. Those pricks. They've been darting around, leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with air Pokemon. Can you help my pack get, get my pack back from those Apom? No. I mean, I will later, but not right now. You can just stand there hungry. Oh, look at that dynamic roll. Oh, that's a cool volcano. I bet there's some good fire types over there. I did find a Chimchar uh, at some point. It's on my, it's in my Pokedex as having been seen, but I didn't catch it. And I thought, I have a feeling they might be like a really rare spawn. And I didn't really think about it at the time. And if I had, I would have made a better effort to actually catch it. Because I haven't, I mean, I probably wouldn't use a Chimchar. But I, I mean, but I'd have it on my team at least long enough to level it up. And I haven't seen, like, any fire Pokemon. Unless I'm forgetting an obvious one now. Oh, look at that angry Perugly. Level 45. Oof. Ah! I'm just going to avoid that one. It's a bit too high a level for me still. <gasps> it's a Growlithe! It's a Hisuian Growlithe! I just said I hadn't seen any fire Pokemon and then boom! Hisuian Growlithe! Let's go. Psych, bash, psych, shield, bash! Ah, oh, you are going on the team immediately, Growlithe. Uh, hypnosis, put it to sleep. Oh, but I don't have a re oh, can I? What? I don't have a Pokeball that's appropriate. Oh, I mean, I guess I could. I don't. I guess I don't have anything in a Great Ball yet. Okay, you're going to be my Great Ball Pokemon. Pokemon! I actually have one! Oh, alright, we'll go. We'll go put them on the team in a second. Oh, 13. Now you need to do it seven more times. Nice. If there's any more around here, I'll catch them as well, and then I can I can pick out the best one. But uh I'm only seeing Glabout, so maybe he was a rare spawn as well. Oh no, there's another one! Friggin' berries, I might as well make use of them. Yeah. Annoyingly, if it's anything like regular Growlithe, I think I need a Firestone to evolve it, which is a problem. Because again, I, I have to just rely on finding a... I've got a water stone. I've got a... I've got a water stone. I've got an, a thunder stone. I don't have a fire stone. Machine gun. I'm not calling it machine gun. That That is an in-joke 
that didn't wasn't that that didn't make a whole lot of sense at the time. Oh, she's got a Growlithe and an Arcanine. Or she's got a Growlithe and a big Growlithe. I think they might just have a Growlithe and a big Growlithe. Hush now. Settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Such a soft face, like it could come off with just a quick flick of a knife. So, what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? The small one. Oh, you have quite a good eye. Yeah, well, it's the, you know, it's the, uh, what do they call it? The Fountain of Youth uh, query from Indiana Jones. You choose the one that doesn't look like the one you think it is. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. Bow! I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Uh, well, I'm I'm here for Five Spit Island and to help the air, so it's these are both true. But I suppose that one. Uh, did Irida ask you to intervene? Perhaps. I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. It's gonna. Have I'm just going to throw a firestone at it. It's like, look, she's not going to make it evolve. You need to make it evolve. Here's a load of firestones. Just sneak up and just bean it in the head with a firestone. Oh, if I was if I was just like a rich asshole in the Pokemon universe, that is that is what I'd do. I'd just buy up a load of evolution stones and I'd just drive round, roll up, run down my window and just be like, Thunderstone, your Pikachu's now right you. Ha ha! It's probably a crime. It's probably a crime to forcibly evolve another person's Pokemon, but it's what I would do. For, for a day, it would be hilarious. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Alright, well, I make for Firespit Island, then. A survey of Firespit Island? I see. There are rumours the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basculegon. Basculesion. That makes more sense. If you wish to cross the sea, you should speak to Isken, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those, sh those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sino somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sino. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sino must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Uh, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin, I didn't expect this game to be quite so religious. I'm going to be honest. I, 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 I didn't expect the isekai stuff either. I thought it was going to be ninjas. And there's just a lot of theology. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past the Ginkgo landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Right. Okay. Firestone. Aww. Oh. Eh. Eh. Okay. 
So yeah, so Basque Legion is my uh, is my next mount, I think. And that's the fish one that lets me go in water. Let's see if I can get one more Growlithe before we head back to camp. Just so I've got three to choose from. That's the wrong button. No, oh, Murkrow, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Okay, maybe we'll just have to set it with two. I don't think any more are spawning in. What's up? Ow! How dare. How very dare. No, nope, I'm not seeing any more. Might just be... Might have just got lucky with those two. Okay. Let's heal. Both got level 32, level 30. What's the stats like? Mm, not bad attack. Level 31's got better HP. Worse defense, worse speed. Better special defense. Mm, I don't think there's much in it. I think I might just take this one. Uh, yeah, sorry, Psyduck. It's my first actual Hissian Pokemon. I pressed the wrong buttons. The question is now, what do we call him? I'm not calling him Machine Gun. Um, so he's supposed to be... I think he's supposed to be a different dog this time. Um, he's got the look of a different... Oh, he's also fire rock instead of just fire, which is interesting. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh yeah, he's supposed to be like the Komani Komanu statues. Yeah, like those uh, statues that sort of guard all those the lion dogs. Kind of maybe based on Japanese statue of Shisa. The mix between lion and dogs. Oh, okay, that makes that's actually quite good. I, I didn't think I didn't realise that. Yeah, so he's got for Shishisa. And then the the uh Hisuan form looks like the Komainu ones. Okay. So rock and fire. Good boy, he's a good boy. He is a good boy. Um, but I, we've we've had puns so far, so I feel like we need to. I feel like I need to continue the trend of puns because we've got grass kicker and brain deer. Because grass is grass kicker because he's final types grass fighting. Brain deer because he's a deer who's psychic. So we need a rock. Oh, we need a fire rock pun. Like a 
called him like Hard Place? No. Fire and rock, rock, f rock dog, fire, fire dog. I mean, a fire dog's a Dalmatian. And then. What's a statue of a Dalmatian? A stone, a stone mason, a Dell mason. G I G O. He's not a soldier. I quite like Dell mason, although it's a, it's a bit it's. I feel like if if the pun's not obvious, it, it doesn't work. Like I, I I could obviously like I've described the path how I got to Del Mason, but I don't think you'd get it from reading it. Rock and fire. G I G. I don't know. I get the geode is fire, is rock, but how's the GI to do with fire? Yeah, it's not. I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not in love with Dal Mason. It, I think it, it's clever, but I think it's. It's like I said, a good pun. I think a good pun makes you groan just from reading it. Oh, hot tuft is good. I like Hot Tuft. Yeah, let's go for Hot Tuft. I like that. See, you can come up with good names eventually, given enough vetoes. Let's go with Hot Tuft. Okay. Oh, so the other thing is as well is I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I catch each of them in different Pokeballs as well. So... I can't use a great ball or a regular ball or a heavy ball for uh, any of the other ones. Cool. All right, let's let's uh, seal the deal as well and uh, save. There we go. Right. Cool. We have our we have a Hisian Pokemon. We have three Pokemon that I actually consider part of the team now. It's going it's going brilliant. It only took us. What are we on? Like another hour, like twelve hours of playing this game until we actually got a Hisian Pokemon. Climb up the the sheer rock wall, dear. Thank you. There we go. They're, they're, they're drip feeding me the uh, the Pokeballs as slowly as they're drip feeding me the the Pokemon, which I suppose is good. It'd be worse if I had loads of Pokemon to choose from and no balls. Terrible thing to have no balls. When you when I let you, I mean again you. You you took an awful long time to get there, but I will give you props for Hot Tuft. It was pretty. It was pretty good. Hey, obvious bad guy. Why, hello there, Mister Dandy. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, your young friend? Eh, so so, I guess. I mean, I have two more. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokémon recognises you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that's said to have battled against almighty Sinnoh. You know what I've been wondering? The ten Pokémon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from almighty Sinnoh itself. 
Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Bye, obvious villain. How we didn't come up with St. Bernard. Ah, oh, St. Ber uh, Bernard is... I, I mean, we, we've, we've, cho we've chosen Hot Tough now, but St. Bernard is would have been a strong contender had you come up with it. I would have had a hard time choosing between the two. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. I have no idea what this guy looks like. Oh, okay, this is not the voice for him. So, um... Oh, okay, what voice do I give this guy? I'm a skin of the Diamond Clan. A Galaxy team member with a Celestica fruit. Oh, you must be dandy, right? Uh, have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Oh, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? To visit Fire Pit. I need Basculesian's aid. Oh, so you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Or if you, I mean, that's not what I said, but, well, if you insist, then you probably need Basculesian's favourite snack. I should help him warm up to you. Preparing his favourite, oh, it's um, more like a little than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. He only eats a type of Pokemon that's extinct now, and the technology to bring extinct Pokemon back to life doesn't exist yet. Or... Oh. I gave you Newcumber earlier. Yeah, but that a Newcumber's only good if I, like, get a Cucumber-shaped Pokemon, of which I don't think there are any. Even the big grey big gray crow voice from Death Story. Oh, I mean, I've already given him a farmer's voice. Or just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? Well, I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but... Uh, then, well, you see, the next part is something I could never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You really want to know? You, you really don't value your own life, do you? I really don't. It's... D... 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 Clops. Oh, even saying its name fools me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with the flavour by Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favourite food, you see. Got it. Easy. Well, is everyone in the Galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. Does oh, I can't even say it. Well, the Pokemon I need only has one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Oh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. Yeah, I built a camp there earlier. Oh. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon. And so now I know a lot about them, you see. Oh, I thought he ghosted. Okay, well that's fine. It's annoying that I didn't catch one now, because I could have just turned it in, but... Whee! Dead. He only eats human flesh. I mean, if he did, it would be incredibly easy to uh, to get the parts for him because there's humans everywhere. Like getting a get him a few humans to eat would be no problem. All right. I need to get off my get off my deer for this because what's in the tree? It's a burmy. That's a male Burmy, so it's not much use to me, but I'll catch it anyway. Oh, come on. When do I get when do I get old school quick balls? Get in. Ah. All right, 
Alright, try tackling it once, I guess. Try Great Ball. This catch rate's obviously annoying. Cut, just get in the ball. Swipe it. There we go. All right, now get in the friggin' ball. I don't even need. I just. I only catch you because you're a different color. I need. I need female Burmese now. I've already got a male Burmy. You're useless to me. Trying to level up my uh, my brain deer, but that's only got normal and psychic moves against ghost Pokemon. Oh god damn it! Probably craft some more Pokeballs because I will need them. Oh, that's the muffin. I'm gonna go cake seventy-eight. I don't need that many. Let's make. 35. How many great balls do I have? 23. Let's make 17. Don't mind me, Dusky. Don't attack me. Go and get those bananas. Yeah. Bananas. Dang it. Ah. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Well, I drowned. And the dust corpse can st and they, they can still see me. Oh, fine. Friggin' idiot. So, why is everything so much stronger than you, Grass Kicker? Like, why are you so weak? Just everything kills you. Have the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> yeah, 
Unfortunately, he's like super bad for fighting these ghost Pokemon, but he's all I've got. Oh, I mean, I, in fairness, I could I could use Hot Tough, but he's actually like three levels higher than him. I need to get him two more levels. Two more levels, and he'll be a well. Two more levels and a few more uses of his move, and he'll be a Hisuian Pokemon. We'll be, we will have gotten there. And same for Grass King. A couple more levels. And I'll have gone from zero Hisuian Pokemon to... Oh, is it, is it Dawn already? Did I hit it too long? Alright, let's go to the, the camp and sleep till night. I'll have gone from zero Pokemon, uh, Hisuian Pokemon to three in as many... Uh, in like an hour, under an hour. Right. Now. <sighs> Thinking about it, those drift blooms are flying types, which means I should be able to catch them. I strayed too far from the battle. I'm here. How am I too far from the battle? I can see the. Po I can throw. I close enough that I hit him with my Pokeball. This game's silly. There we go. This this seems like the better plan. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna yeet this Pokeball from a distance. Oh man, they okay. They go a bit further than I thought they did. Oh, has he seen me? Okay, he's seen me. I thought these feather balls were better for catching flying types, but it occurs to me they might just be lighter. Tough, it's time for your debut. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I was like, where did that flower bloom? Like they say every time you catch a drift, drift bloom, a flower blooms. Do it for catching nimble Pokemon and Pokemon that fly high in the air. Oh, okay, so it doesn't. It, it's it's better. It, it's better for catching flying type in the Pokemon in the in the sense that it just goes further, not in that it actually gives you. It's not like a nest ball which actually gave you a bonus to bug and dark types. I can't remember what the other type was. Oh, bug and water types. Interesting. Okay. Well, that gives me some options then to if I need to catch a fish or if I, if I stumble across any other Hisuian Pokemon. All right, Dusclops is over here. I would like to get that chest as well, though. Ooh, I got an Ultra Ball. Well, well, well. You, you're all for special occasions.
Oh, I've got dust clops. Well, he figured out what happened. Ah. Run away. I still need to catch a... I mean, need to catch a couple, so I need one for myself. And I need one for to hand in for the quest. But I still need the unevolved form. No, come on, I'm far away. You can't see me. Right. I need to sort of clear the area out of these friggin' balloons, because they're, they're too aggressive, and I don't like them. They're very aggressive, and they're very powerful. No, no, no. Look at the look at the nana berry. Look at the nana berry. Dang, look at the nana berry. Don't look at me. There you go. There's a dust clops. Alright. Oh, there's one as well. Come on. It's okay. It's just a berry. That's it. Ah, freaking. Why does it go so far over the crosshair? Like, go where I'm put where the crosshair is. Otherwise, what's the point? Ah, you frig. Fine. Oh, where did you come from? You're not even in this. Leave my bird alone. Right, look. Uh, you, get in here. Don't, don't, oh, stop dying! Oh, everything kills you, I swear to God. You're so soft and fragile. I'm an amazing Pokemon catcher. It's just, you know, sometimes. Actually, I don't need to catch one because he'll, uh, he'll. He didn't take the last one I gave him. Right, hot's tough to get that. Thank you. I'm just going to do a lap of these boxes. Graceful. Right, it's fine. I got the di I got the dust clops. That's the important thing. Why? I said you were angry. Wait. 
Toka Pri! Get in. Yeah, I got a Toka Pri. That one looks like a rare spawn. I think it must just be same as like in when you were trying to, when you try and catch Pokemon in the grass area, a grassy area. It's just that some of them have got a rare spawn, and will, uh, yeah, like spawn in five five percent of the time like normal. So that Chimchar I missed probably was a rare spawn, as, and so but I didn't miss that Togepi. Nailed that Togepi. Boosh. So here you bring it, you know, a Pokemon with a name that sounds like um dust pops. Here you go. That's not the right Pokeball. You really brought it. <laughs> oh, don't bring it out. Right. Well, I guess I've got to do my part, so you know how determined you are to go to that uh, island with the uh, Basque Legion. Usually I um, ask Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit, but this time you need to help me since, well, since we're making the snacks so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give you the signal, you have that dust box of yours, use its dark pulse. Three, two. Oh no, it's too frightening. Come on, try again. Right, so counting down to it just makes the anticipation total worse. Let's simply have it, you do it when I go, say go. And go. Ghosted. A delicious rumor whilst through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. Yay. It's favorite food of Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. Food is crafted in an unusual way, from ingredients gathered via unequally unusual methods. Indeed. It's a weird... It's a wonder how they figured this out. Like, the, the Basque Legion, is, is, this is its favorite food, but okay. Both your own and the shape of perfect is the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. And let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Let's go. I want my fish. I want my big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. I want my big fish. What up, Celio? Wait, Celio might be the stage two. Maybe he's Celion? I don't know. Whatever. You. <coughs> oh, hello, Dandy. I was just waiting for you. I mean, yeah, you, you saw me come down the beach. Hello, Iskan. Oh, Polina, I, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Dandy can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. Oi! I mean, again, it's the exact same song that summons the bear and the deer. I don't know how they tell which one I'm summoning. They all just show up and it's like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought you wanted that one. Which one do you want? It's like, just all of you combine into one animal. It's fine. Yeah! Shra! Go on, Dandy. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. You threw in the ball of Basque Legion food. Oh. Sha. The great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this flavor. So, uh, Dandy, you should let Basque Legion hear your playing. The fish, Basque Legion's easily, compared to the other two, that I had to beat up. 
or I had to beat up something for it. This one's been reasonably... Well, I suppose I did have to catch the Dusclops. But he didn't know that. Basca Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. I can now go water! I think I just have one more mount to le left to get, which is the, the birds. But there could be more, I don't know. You received the splash plate from Basca Legion. Yay! It's a... Again, another... Yeah. I've, I've already made jokes about it being a bar of soap or a scouring pad. It's, it's done. Now you can ride Basca Legion across Tranquility Cove. And head to the fire sp and head to Fire Spit Island. Growl. They all sound they all sound like like reasonably normal names of places when you when individually, but when you line them all up like that, they all do sound quite silly. My congratulations to you, Dandy. Growl. Bullina, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlith pup. During that instant, Iskan and Busky Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him, but I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. Ah, oh, it's like Romeo and Juliet, except they're old. So I try to meet with Iskan where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps. But nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is, and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Ah, oh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time after all. Growl. I'm sure that's just the suspension bridge effect, but it just hasn't worn off yet. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll have you. I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm the one clover you can't pick. Oh, this is this is the professor's voice I'm doing. Heads I win, tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Yeah, we're the Misfortune Sisters, known across the frigid land of Hisui, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. It's the quote-unquote bad guys of this game. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Yeah, it's Gengar. Barrow. Barrow. <laughs> Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of history, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Now let's take them up to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Ginga! Oh, I love Ginga. He's just a big face with arms and legs. What? No, Growlithe. It's fine. I'm pretty sure they're at Firespeed Island, which is, you know, where I'm going anyway. What should we do, Dandy? This is an emergency, right? Uh, you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Dandy, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. He said we're, they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around Cobalt Islands that seems suitable is Firespeed Island. Oh, now that you have Basquelesian to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in you to help Polina? Of course. Look at me, I'm a hero. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. We will make our way to Firespit Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. I'm not sure I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and 
No, come, Dandy. No time to think. We must go now. You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back, too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit, I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could ever over first? Hmm. Of course, cool, so I can... I guess it makes sense, because if I couldn't... The whole point of being able to ride Basque Legion, he has handlebars, is that I can uh, catch water Pokemon with him. Yay! What's when it throws, jumps in there, you'll have more time to adjust your aim before you throw. Oh, so I get like a cooldown, like it links... Uh... Let's go! Okay, he, you were a deer slightly, but that's fine. Ah, oh, what a fish. It's a Mantike. Yeah. I got a Mantike. What else is around here? I need a fit, I need a great rod or something. How do I get you out? Oh yes, yeah, so you get like a Link style Breath of the Wild slowdown when you're in the air. Oh, something's something's violent. Really, Remoroids? You really want to do this? I don't have any water Pokemon, so I don't know how I can... I don't really... Wait, do I have any Mud Balls? I do. Like, yeah, if I summon... Oh, he stands on a little float at the front. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of remoroid attacks. All right, let's see if we can kill some. Oh, you avoided it? Come on. I was thinking I'd need to have some water Pokemon before I could actually fight anything on the water, but... Uh, look, I... all right. I'm just gonna have to try and catch one because they attack so many times between goes. Get in. And the ball slowly sinks to the bottom of the water. And it's like, uh, I guess, I guess I'll get that back later. Oh yeah, he's flying. You can just Yeah, you can just you can just do that. I just catch him all. Ah, come on, you prick. Yeah, now the other one's gonna, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm not gonna send out Hot Tuft, because he's not exactly. This isn't exactly his environment. So I guess Luxray can have a crack. Oh, come on! Alright, well, it avoided the attack, so now I need to wait another seven moves before I can go again. Thank you. Like seriously, just kill him. 
I have become so bored of them. <sighs> Let's go and heal. Why is water Pokemon so irritating? Water Pokemon, Ghost Pokemon. Like I liked it early on, I just run up to everything and bonk it in the head with a ball. Go away, Remoroid. There we go. So the only thing is, is I can't throw Pokemon off the back of the deer, but I can do it off the back of the fish, which means if I go in the water, I can throw the Pokemon on to collect the stuff for me. I mean, I suppose it's only, it's only a minor inconvenience to get off the deer, but... You know, still. Hey, what's this cave? Whee! Fish. Is this a shortcut cave or is it a cave cave? It's a shortcut cave. Look at that. Hey, it's a Finneon! Oh, that's an Alpha. It's Finneon, the weirdest evolution. I guess there's a gastropod, gastrodon. Oh, 61. No, don't worry, dude. You, uh, you can keep your island. I don't want any. I don't want. Oh, this is everything so strong. Oh, it's a tentacruel. I can hear the attack coming. You can still see me. Pokemon are scary. Okay. Whew. Viper Island, it's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? I know, we got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat. Oh, I'm very sorry. I didn't think you could lead the way, Dandy. That poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. It just cuts to the to cuts to the three sisters, and they're just like, "Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're the super good boy." Who wants a snossage? Who wants a snossage? Don't you? Yes, you do. Who are that good boy? It's like, I feel like we've become distracted, sisters. It's like, no, Magby! Get in the ball. How dare you poison me, prick. It's a startled graveler. Yes, both. That's it. Just keep raising your defense. This has worked fine. We can, don't hit me with your own side shield bat. I need to get this to 20 before he hits level 31, so that's good. Go 
good work. Uh, right. Both Brain Deer and Grass Kicker. Brain Deer should level up at level 31. Give or take. Grass Kicker is either going to level up to 35 or 36. Oh, a Thunderstone. I will make space for a Thunderstone. I'd like a Firestone. It's weird that you... Give me a Thunderstone on the Fire Island, but, you know... It takes so much longer when you're not on the, uh... Okay, that's probably not a good idea. It takes so much longer to collect the wisps when you're not on the back of the weird deer. Magma! Uh, I mean, I guess I could fight you. No, oh, don't poison my deer. Flamethrower looks pretty like concentrated, doesn't it? It's a nice looking flamethrower. It's got it's because it's like it's like blue at the start and then it goes yellow and it looks properly like it's uh it's hot. Pokemon hiding under the stones seems to drop the stones a lot. You might be right, actually, you might be right. Uh right, I'm gonna pop a revive on Brain Dick because I want him to level up. You can take a flamethrower, uh, Hot Tuft. Oh, you can, but it still hurts you quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah! Yeah, you might be right about the ones that are hiding. They might drop the stones. It's weird because, yeah, the fire the fire from the flamethrower, I really like. The lava, however, looks like dog shit. Like, that is probably the worst video game lava I've seen since the PlayStation era. Like, real magma looks tasty. I don't know if you've ever seen real magma. It looks like burnt cheese. It looks so delicious. That's just like an orange. It's like... Crash Bandicoot Magma. I probably have to fight my way through here, so. It's low res mac and cheese. That is exactly it. Don't stealth rock me. Can you level up? No, okay. So, dear, uh, the Bobajibum. Brain Deer's the right level, but I haven't used his attack enough times. So, let's fix that. Actually. Oh. I was going to say I, I should use him against the fire ones, but. I might be able to evolve him after this fight. I think I needed seven. I, used, I think I used four on the last fight. I'm definitely going to get to four this time. Strong style. Style to bash. Yeah. Well, 
Well, my Star Raptor can evolve. Why can't you evolve yet? What's... Did I... Well, whilst I um, sacrifice Star Ravia to the, uh, the Dark Arts, let me just double check. Legends Arceus, uh, b -b 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 weird dear Evo. I thought I did it right, but maybe I've missed a step. Uh... Oh, we must learn and master Scythe Bass, then use the move in Agile style 20 times. So it's not, you. I had to use it 20 times to master it. And then use it 20 times in Agile style to get the Weird Deer. Oh, okay, so he's all, he's still a little ways off. He's still a little ways off, but that's fine. We can... That's fine. Uh, I should really be... I haven't checked the moves for a little while. These guys have probably got, like... Double-edged. Is that good? Not really. I guess it's kind of a nice... Yeah, go on then. You got two... What's your summary looking like? Uh, attack 61. Yeah, let's get rid of Aerial Ace. Uh, Air Slash, even. That works. And, uh... Oh, close combat. There you go. Might as well make him useful whilst he's on the team. What have you got moves wise? Tackle, Ember, he's got Bite, Fire, Fang, Rock, Slide, and Crunch. That's honestly a really good set of moves. Like, just, yeah, by default. I mean, he doesn't need, he doesn't really need Bite and Crunch, but he also doesn't have anything else really to replace it, so. Yeah. You got anything new? Gust, Air Slash, Leaf Blade. Ooh. What's your attacks 105, special attacks? Mm. How many times have I used... Because I need Leaf Edge 20 times to get the Pokedex entry. Uh... How do I check the... Uh, 15. So I need to use it one more time. Right, so I use Leafage one more time, not against these two, and then... Ah, this is annoying. Okay. Alright, well, bye Magmars. You guys, uh, you can just, you can have that area, I guess. Oh, is there a... Oh, this is the, yeah, this is, the, they did say this was the seat of the Fire Lord or whatever. Bosh. Which is probably why they're here. A space-time distortion seems to be forming. Well, this isn't the time... Oh, over on Windbreak Island. Alright, well, we can check that out if we have time later. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve. So get on with it already. You will become stronger, like it or not. Growl! Growl! Oh, look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters, I'll take care of him. Go, a bomber snow, smash this fool to pieces. Or at least, I mean, at least I'm not sending out my uh, grass, uh, grass kicker against him. 
Spring deer. Let's rock. All right, so now I need to use. I have. God damn it. Hypnosis. I used up all of its friggin. <sighs> Gotta use 20 times in agile mode? That's like two recharges of PP. I might just go back to like the first area and get it to kill. Oh, come on! You're supposed to be asleep! Hypnosis in this game sucks. <sighs> Fine, Luxray. No, not even any points sending out Grass Kicker. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll stand there and make Luxray look good, but as soon as I send out one of my Pokemon I actually care about, you'll just one-shot it. Prig. I don't get it. How'd I lose? You know, a bomber snow cat fight at full power in crazy heat like this, it wasn't a fair battle. We were basically going easy on you, batting in such a stupidly hot place. You're the one who sent out a bomber snow, sister. Go on then, Toxicroak. Pour on some poison for our unwelcome guest. Oh, now I gotta fight this. Well, at least I'm there fighting me one by one and not fight me all at the same time. That'll probably come at the end. Yeah, see, I remember I said earlier that I don't like Toxicroak, but I really like, uh, I really like its unevolved form. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, well, there goes Luxray. Okay. Uh, you're weak to poison as well, so. Oh, actually, Brain Deer might be quite good here. Oh, no, because he can't use his psychic moves because he has no PP. That's the whole reason I'm not using him. <sighs> Alright, fine. Uh, strong Hypnosis! No, oh, prick. Yeah, well, there goes Brain Deer. Okay, Star After, all you, buddy. <sighs> uh, I think he's fighting, so let's try a strong aerial ace. Yeah, there we go. Man, why are all the Pokemon I don't want to use so useful? What a blithering mooncalf I am. How could I let myself lose? What is a mooncalf? That's not a Pokemon. Ah, I need nothing to get into 36. I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. Isn't she called coin? If she's called coin, the coin toss becomes quite sinister. I did warn you, didn't I, that I had a score to settle with the Galaxy team? All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work on. I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. Oh, so I've got to fight Gengar as well. Oh, two of them? Okay, well, Rhydon would actually... Baneri! Really? Well, good luck, Baneri. Uh... Do a swift baby doll eyes. Not bad, actually. Draining kiss. I stand over here for some reason. Strong kiss it! Use your tongue! I 
I'll be honest, Baneri, you did better than I thought you were going to do. Like, yeah, fair play. Uh, anyway. And this one might be harder. Yep. Yep. Cool. Alright, I have one Pokemon left. I have a max revive. Gengar is ghost poison, which means he is effect he is super weak to psychic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Brain Deer back in case I need him. But I'll try and beat him with Star Raptor for the time being. Um I haven't got this is the only move I can hit him with. Oh. Don't hit him again. Ah, oh, don't be too drowsy to move. Tank it. Okay, well, I don't tank it then. It's up to you, Brain Deer. It has no PP. Why do I keep sending it out? Ah. Uh... Do I have anything that recovers PP? Uh, I keep forgetting that it has no PP on its friggin' attack. I legit don't have anything I can do. None of its attacks will hit it now. I don't have anything that recovers... Yeah, that was. I should have. I should have revived Luxray. It's. Uh, can I run? This is a serious battle. Running is not an option. This might be my first faint. This might be my first faint. I. I don't have. Yeah, I don't. I can't tackle it. I. I can't. What does car? I don't. I don't think car move does any damage. Yeah. Best I can do is hypnosis it. But I it's honestly unless Yeah. Oh, you defeated in battle. Try again with a stronger team of Pokemon. <laughs> they just go back to everything. No, everyone's back to Okay, well there's no consequences for losing as it turns out. I can just try again. Do I have to fight all three of them, or can I just fight the... Oh, look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters, I'll take care of him. Go, Obama Snow, smash this fool to pieces. Okay, I do have to refight them all. Okay, well, there's... A loss of time is the only consequence of losing. I didn't lose any... I was worried I was going to white out and lose my cash. But I guess that only happens if I take damage. Okay, I mean, at least give him a chance to attack. Like, it just, it just said, it just goes out and immediately dies. <sighs> All right, well, Star Raptor, just, I'm just gonna try and kill it rather than do anything. There we go. Yeah, I don't get it. How did I lose? Come on, hurry up. Let's go to the next one. We gotta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know why he goes to Luxray. Like, Luxray is not my next Pokemon.
Whatever. Just Thunderbite it. Uh, in fact, poison. Does bite work? Try a strong bite. Nope. Opposite way around. Poison is not very effective. And he's cloaked. Paralyze? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. You did. You 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 did what I needed you to do. Uh. Might be a bit risky sending him out, but. Good. It was enough. A blithering moon calf, blah, blah, blah. Guess you lose the coin toss. Which again, you discuss your called coin, that's weird. Right, ride on and get ride ride on and Gengar. Well yeah, it's it's a, I it's it's actually quite slow when you realise lot of like when you're fighting the same opponent again. Why Baneri? Fine. Tongue it! can use two attacks in a row like that. Like, why can't I do that? That was me accidentally tapping the analog stick there. Not just doing a victory dance. It's, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Doing the uh, doing the leafage, doing the leafage. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. See, I didn't even get a chance to withdraw him. Ugh. Oh, it's fine. He's hypnosising. Can I do I get a chance to hypno? No. Okay, that's fine. Just, just come out, hit him twice before I can do anything. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to throw Brain Deer out. Are you going to kill him before I can even select a move? No. Well, I appreciate that. Agile, slice your bash. See, there we go. If he just had some PP, I would have won last time. Oh, he dodged it. Tank it. Tank it again. Okay, well. You, I can't believe you disobeyed my orders. Oh, Star Raptor, all I've got left. Oh, okay. Well. Agile Aerial Ace. Woo. Hmm. What a disgrace. One at least. It's the only second time. H how could all of us have been? Hey, Charm, I heard up a bomb of snow and Cohen's Toxicroak. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. Ow! I like, I do like though that the villains in this are actually smart enough to be like, hey, while you were fighting, we just, I just used the revives and potions, so we're back to full strength and we can just, we can just keep going if you like. And so they are smart enough to actually abuse the mechanics. Not smart enough to all attack me at the same time, but smart enough to abuse the mechanics. What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt. Ow! Take him down, Toxicroak. 
I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that runt. Growlithe, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. But, Paulina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord. His own father. Oh, it's the little... He's, he's found his bravery. Ow! Ow! Oh, he's going to see his dad in the clouds. Ow! Oh, he's, he's summoning the dark arts. He's evolving without a firestone. Yeah! Looks like he finally found his courage. The late Lord's child, he's evolved. His true bravery lay not in crossing the sea, but in finding the strength to think, face hardship head on. you got to be joking me. Why'd the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters, something's not right. Hello, it's me, God. Have a power up. Skadoosh. I'm evil now. Oh, am I gonna have to go and get balls of its favorite food now? What? Paulina, stay back. Arr! What has happened to him? That strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied, just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. That's no run. Oh, you got distracted, did you? You get your Julian Bergman, it looks awesome. That's not mine, that's her one. My one's still small and crap. Uh, everything was going just as we'd wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of this, sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Away! Hey, wait, this is all your fault. We should get out of here too, Paulina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Dandy, we should hurry. Yeah, I mean, my Pokemon are all pretty, if the, you know, the snot kicked out of them. Uh, which one's Irida? Uh, Blina. Oh, no, she's just high pitched. What are you going to do about Growlithe? I mean, Arcanine. I watched from a distance, but didn't help. That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him with everything I have. <laughs> He's not even done anything yet. Dandy, what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please, tell us what we need. <clears throat> I need his favourite food, yeah, in his bar. It, it, I need bombs. We'll need to make some bombs. Bombs? Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you're our leader, Irida. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use your Celestica flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of vast Hisui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. Pouting them in the face until they submit. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favourite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. It's not safe. But isn't that right, Dandy? I mean, it's safe for you, because you're not the one doing it. Uh, well, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favourite foods with me, so I can thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basque-Legion's favourite meal. But it's also been ages since I prepared Basque-Legion's favourite meal, because I'm afraid of the Dusclops. So it's all gone bad. Why, Iskan, once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. 
Yeah, let's get to work. I mean, I get to do a boss fight again, which is cool. I don't, I don't mind the boss fights. They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to try and quell Lord Arcanine's frenzy. Uh, what, what? Oh, can one of you heal me? Let me. Okay, no, that's fine. I mean, it'd be nice if you could hear. You've you've generally been like can really. I bet there's a fast travel here. No, I I didn't even move. I just I clicked the map button. Let me go away. Okay, there's a fast travel here. We'll go back. I'll rest. And then we'll uh, we'll have a crack at him. Boosh. Should I make some space? Let's get rid of this thunderstone. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And that one. And that one. Cool. Uh, do I have enough to make... Forty, thirty-one. Not that I need poker balls for this bit, but might as well craft some stuff. Uh, right. What have I found? Did I mix? Huh. Okay. Uh, let's try the boss then. Oh, when did all these new requests pop up? Well, maybe once I got the fish. Well, well, we'll pick those up afterwards. I hope I get a firestone off of this somehow. Just... Like, I want an Arcanine too. Please, do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it is clear that his frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you're dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. I'm also here, but I'm not going to say anything. Hey. Oh, he can, of course he can walk on magma. Alright, doggy. Time to go for a walk. There we go. Oh, well, I timed that dodge, dodge perfectly. Okay, I need to time that for the impact. Oh, cool. It is nice enough to not let me go in the lava, at least. I thought that was going to be a problem. They're not even watching. They got their backs to me. Well. Need to pay more attention. There we go. Uh, go! We popped all of his fireballs. Don't die. You didn't. Again. You'll probably die this time, but... At least we're too close to getting you evolved. Yeah, there he goes. That's fine. Uh, 
Fire Rock. I guess Star Raptors Punch could do. Yeah, you're no good. Although Rock is strong against. No, ground. Uh, okay, Star Raptor. Just punch it really hard. I mean, I know you don't have hands. But find a way. There you go. Bomb. 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 Oh, would I die? Oh, that was anticlimactic. Everything went black. Yeah, I know. He's just dead. Y yes. Restart the battle. It's just that one... It's just the jumping attack that I have a bit of trouble with. Again, zero consequence for failing. Hang on. You, you've gone too far. Ah, I thought he was going to jump that time. <sighs> Come on. I got... I... What is the timing on that? See, this one's easy. Okay, when he looks up in the air is when he's going to jump. And that's when he just dashes forward. Uh, go. I wonder if the previous two counted or whether I've, I've reset time. Either way. Take the hit. Good work. I'm going to do the exact same thing we did last time, because that wasn't the problem. There we go. Alright, now he's going to kill you. And I'm sorry. But it was a necessary sacrifice, brain dear. All part of the big, all, all part of the uh, master plan. Right now, headbutt him, or I guess wing slap him. Yeah, I guess that's what you're doing. Come on, get balmy, get all balmy. Come on, it's... Ow. Well, you've summoned a fire spin in the middle. So, I, I mean, I can't... He's over there again. Come back over. There you go. Barmy, 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 barmy. Wait, what, did I get him? Yes, I got him. I counted. Ha! Screw you, I killed you before you killed me. The cutscene took over. Pokemon does Souls boss. It's not quite as involved as a Dark Souls boss, unfortunately. It's more. It's it, it's the basically the same premise each time. Hit them in the face with food until they submit. Oh, Paul, look! The strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift. Who's a good boy? We cool? Yeah. I received the flame plate. Just coughed it up. Blah. There you go. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? No. Oh, that was that two different Arcanine cries just now. It was a ghost Pokemon. 
Oh, now I understand. My little Growlithe, ah no, I misspoke, Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live our part so that we may attend to our separate duties. <coughs> now, now, all will be well. You're strong, far stronger than me, in fact. <coughs> From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine, your realm awaits. I wonder if she's ever going to put those that little sort of face goggles thing on. I've been looking at it the entire time that Paulina's been on, trying to I sort of I, I, trying to exactly figure out what it is. I think it's like a welding mask type thing, but I wonder if she's ever going to put it on. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd! I certainly didn't. She's gaslighting him now. Oh, please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? I mean, you do live next to, a, like, a, a ship graveyard. No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous lord calling out to us. It seems that I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Dandy, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but... Please look after Irida as well. It's a snorkel mask. But she's a fire trainer. That doesn't make any sense. And there's no snorkel. She just... I mean, I guess you could use it to, like, look at fish underwater, but... She, she can't breathe. Now then, Iska, I believe we'd best be off. Doesn't make any sense thematically. Dandy. I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? It, like I said, you weren't even looking at my fight. You all had your backs to me. You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. What about the bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs, something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognised for such a slight contribution? No. I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of history. Grant me another battle someday, Dandy. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. Okay, I mean, sure, I don't know the, the, what fighting me is going to do to help you. Go buy some lucky candy. Lucky, yeah. Uh, not some lucky candies. What are they called? Rare candies. Looks like I've got Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know uh, and hear more about her relationship with Warden Iskin while I'm at it. Here, here's where we part for now, Dandy. I need to get off this oven of an island. Cool. Uh... Right, well, that's that. Can you walk on lava? No. How do I get over there, then? Maybe I can go on the side here. Oh, here we go. Whee! I'm seeing this over here, and it's been bugging me for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Grass Kicker can evolve now. He can finally become the Hisuian Pokemon he was supposed to become. Let's go! Uh... Yeah! 
It's the inducer to the city eye. Look at my boy. Yeah. Oh, calm down. He's like a big owl man now. Ha ha ha. What was the idea for your new move? I oh, even learnt Rock Smash. Cool. Uh, and Aura Sphere. And oh, yeah, because he's grass fighting now. Yes, I should probably teach him. What's his attack? 151. Triple arrows. It's easier to do as an axe kick, then fires three arrows. Well, that sounds like it's like a unique attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's learn that. Uh, so he, I think he loses his flying type. But obviously, he's still got all his flying moves. So she's got a wetsuit on, hasn't she? Is that what she's wearing? It doesn't, I don't think it, it looks just like a dress. But she's a she trains fire rock Pokemon. I don't know. She's weird. Uh, I want to leave full swipe on. Let's get rid of Roost. Uh, and we can get rid of Leafage for Air for Leaf Blade now as well. That'll work. Right. Hopefully now Grass Kicker can actually. Now that he can actually kick. Now that he's actually the fighting type that I named him for, he can actually you know. Do some stuff. Look at those talons. Yeah. My boy. God, that lava looks so crap. Still good. We're still good. Just broke my ankle slightly there. Um, right, I, I guess I don't need to walk back. I can just fast travel, but... I really want to get a fire stone so I can evolve my Growlithe, but I don't see that happening today. Alright, well, let's... Stop targeting me. There we go. Let's uh, turn this stuff in. We'll see what the... I'm pretty sure I don't have... Well, actually, turning all this stuff in might give me the research points I need. So, I've got 32 Pokemon. Look at all the stuff I caught. Oh, I did catch some, catch some matchups. I couldn't remember if I did or not. That's a nice... Uh, that's a nice haul, I think. 15k. Neat. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm, I see. Most illuminating. So what do I need to get a uh, deuce of die up? Leaf blade, leaf storm, and then agile moves. And triple arrows. Okay, so this one's quite easy. I just need to use his attacks, basically. Well, that's enough points to level up. Yay! Splendiferous results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silene, eh? I'll get right on that if I were you. Hmm? You quelled the Lord, new Lord Arcanine. Oh, ho, let's tell Commander Commando the good news then, shall we? Back to Jubilife we go. Eat some more fucking potato mochi. The only thing we get to eat. Uh, do I have any space? I have tons of space. Because I haven't done anything since I picked up the last thing. What do you want? Why, well, hello again. Wonderful timing as always, I see. You really came to our rescue of that pickling stone, you know. Quite the little helper. So let me pose for you again for a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know, an artillery propped up and sprayed me with ink. 
There's the thing, the ink, well, it actually tasted rather good. The inspiration quite literally stuck near the Roman. I, w I knew I could use this ink to create pickles, the likes of which the world has never seen. How? But making food out of something a Pokemon has spat up seems risky, to say the least, no? So a little research on Octillery is in order, I think. So you come in. If you learn more about Octillery, please let me know. Okay, that could be a long one. Because I don't think I've seen an Octillery. Uh, I tell you what, let's turn them, let's turn in, and then, because, oh, have you got anything new? Got a special product on the stock, a scatterbang set. Uh, no. You got anything? Dire shroom, candy truffle. Ooh. But no. Sell all of this stuff. Um, hang on, how do I sort? Oh, I can't do that from here. Um, did I get anything else I could sell? Not so much. Okay. Octopus is actually a condiment they use in Japan. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those uh, those black Burger King. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, they do use it. In, I think pasta's like the more common use of it. But I've also seen like Burger King did a black bur a black Whopper for a little while where they used the ink in its uh, in the buns. Um, as far as I know, it didn't like affect the... It, it doesn't... It's mostly like food colouring, kind of. It really doesn't affect the taste a huge amount. So... Yeah, but I, I suppose it's one of those things where it's like, it's like drinking milk for the first time. Like, that must have been weird to everyone. But it's like, no, no, look, trust me, guys, trust me. It tastes amazing. It's like, dude, that came out of a cow. I ain't touching that. Yep, it made everyone's poop green. Good. <laughs> Thank you for that little tidbit. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your effort there aided not only the Galaxy team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we were able to get it rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins, of which I have many. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Maybe some sort of giant plug we could insert in it. I'm th I've got a shape in mind. I'll let you know once it's constructed. Remain true to the mission, or else. So we're going to eat some potato mochi now. It's... And... Yes, there we are. Potato mochi. The only food we eat. If you notice that today's po potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used a Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon Appetit! The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Five Spit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on a Basque Legion's back, Professor. Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basque Legion. That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall, for the sake of my research. I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. Then he ends up riding something like a... Uh, like a... Well, not, uh, because Ponyta lets Pokemon ride on its back. Just trying to think of something that would be uncomfortable to ride. Like a... Uh, oh, what's the... Um, like a quillfish. He rides on that and he goes... Unimaginable pain. Uh, my junk was numb for a week. This is one out of ten. Do not recommend. The experience in our book... Uh, yeah, just watch. That's the sound of us eating our mochi. The next day. Oh. 
You're new. Wait, hang on. Isn't he just... Isn't he literally just a guy from Diamond and Pearl? He's from the... He's the... He's the, um... Uh, actually, is that from Diamond and Pearl? He's the guy who runs the subway, the underground. Well, one of the two. There's the, he's one of the twin brothers. I mean, it's literally just the guy. I guess he's his, must be his descendant, but... Uh... I don't know where going. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good sir, who came from the sky. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. There's like, um... The... The, they're like brothers who run the battle subway, it's called. Dandy, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble. Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has the propo uh, propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Irida asking. Uh, I don't know who Bagan is. No, no, you don't have permission to go up. Oh, save it, or I'll be stopped by the likes of you. As if I'll be stopped by the likes of you. Now, out of my way. I'm going to assume it's the same guy. It's not. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, hey ho, boss man Kamado. I thought it might have slipped your mind and sent me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, we're, there's your issue right there, Adam man. How exactly did you intend to start Electrode without me? It's Mighty Warden here to weigh in, brah. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Dandy to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on, it's me you're trying to humiliate here, our entire clan. Size, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Yes. Don't you talk about my flimsy little noodle. I'm self-conscious. I'm, I'm 15. I can, you know, I, I'm due a growth spurt. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said... Yes? It is clear that the Security Corps need even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly. The Security Corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The Commander's sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Hmph. Now, now, that will do. Dandy, you have your orders. See to it that Electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course we'd appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Nod. Hmm. Nod, nod. Now go. I can't stand looking at you. You make me sick. Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, at least Dandy, is amazing and will prove it. Follow me outside. <laughs> like how they're just accepting the fact that it's like, the Galaxy team are absolutely just worthless. But Dandy's good. Uh, I got my giant fish as a mount. Melly is a girl. Well, whatever, I've given her a surfer dude voice. She's just got a deep voice. Why is she... I've hidden behind this child. Brah. Look, I've already said before, I have a limited range of girls' voices. So she has... She's now a surfer dude. All right, Dandy, go around with me. You bet. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. No. Let's go, Grass Kicker. Let's kick some grass. Literally, it's a grass Pokemon. Uh, in fact, let's kill that Eevee. Yeah! He's getting pumped!
Strong start, aerial ace. Nice crit. Agile aerial ace. See, Graska can actually win a fight against two Pokemon and not die now. Oh, he's finally become useful. My boy, my boy, my boy. You see how good Dante is now, yes? No more sneering at him. Hmph. Now I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Dandy. Glad to have your help, as always. Melly, shift yourself, unless you want to get even more of an earful than you already do for. Oh, come on, Adam, man. Cut me some slack here. Dandy. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. He very almost died. You got the low health alarm. I was... I was fully in charge of that battle. I would have just given him a super potion if I needed to. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. To take you on the Highlands, you must achieve the rank of 4 star or higher. You know how. Evolve Pokemon to other Pokemon use. I have... I mean, <laughs> she's telling me this. I actually have the points to evolve... To level up. Like... Here's what you do to level up. Yes, you've made progress on your research tasks. Ah, yes, you have. Okay, cool. Good, well done. Hmm, you have made a progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. It's like, you could have just checked before lecturing me. Now she's just like awkwardly like, oh, I, yes. Hmm, sorry. Hey, you're gonna give me some new balls. With this, you've officially attained the rank of fourth star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Leaden Balls. Pokemon up to level 50 will also obey your orders while I've in battle. Neat. Have these as well. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. From scratch. One Apricorn, one Black Tumblestone, and one Iron Chunk. Hyper Potions. Super Potion and a Vivid Choke. Neat. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands but you will need help from the particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Okay. Well, let's go and do that there. There's a fair few ranks. Yeah, there's six more. Um, I don't know, like... Oh, can I just... No, I, I can't. I can't just teleport to any region. So, I mean, it looks like... So, this is obviously the, the town. There's one region. That's the second region. That's the third region. I think the Highlands is where I'm going next, which is here. And then it looks like there's a region here. And possibly a region down here. Maybe a mountainous region here. Maybe this section as well. So, I think I'm like... I have a feeling one of the regions probably doesn't open until the post game, but yeah, I mean it's hard to tell. They, they've they've made the island in such a way as well that if they wanted to add DLC, they could just like pan the map down and add sections on it as well. Uh, right, what we'll do, we'll I'll get up to the point where I'm like I can go to the Coral Highlands now. Oh hey. Yeah, you're literally just... Like, it's literally just the guy, but he's wearing tattered clothes. Like, did he fall through time and space as well? Hello, Dandy. This gentleman is Warden Ingo. It is! It's just Ingo! He's literally just the guy from the modern era. He must have fallen in through a time space. Who serves Sneasler? He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to probably meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll be fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. 
How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Oh yeah, it is. It is literally the guy. Okay. So he's he's from modern day Pokemon. So I guess he's also an is isekai but he's lost his memory. Maybe traveling will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. Oh, I bet his brother's worried for him. In any case, I'm glad to have you help I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Dandy. Good luck up in the Highlands. And there he goes. Okay. So I said, uh, we'll, I'll get to the point where it's like, go to the Highlands. Let's pick up these side quests and see if there's any I can sort of clear off early. And then I think we'll call it there for the week. And then what I'll do is between this week and next is I'll, I'll do some stuff. I won't level up the main three. But what I'll do is I'll see if I can get some more Hisuian Pokemons unlocked. Now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear a moment, would you, lad? I came with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries it, it's beyond saving. A complete, says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. I have to shower this new creation, and there it remains in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. Well, it'll like never see the light of day again. Seems like I'll never be able to pull or profit from my creation, but I'd at least like to share my recipe with someone. Let's be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a soup fruit root, a springy mushroom, and a hoppo berry. Got that? I think I have all those. Oh, I mean I do, but they're in the box. I guess soup fruit, springy mushroom, and hoppo. I'm pretty sure I have all of those. Uh, one. Hoppo berry and a uh, fruit. There we go. So my stamina's all gone. Are you still selling that junk? No, I don't want a scatterbank set. No, talk to the right one. Ready to learn. Boop. Then learn from the master. You turn to a swamp, a swap snack. When eaten, this curious snack temporarily swaps a Pokemon's offensive stats with his offensive stats. Hmm. Well, if that isn't just typical of our famed Survey Corps recruit, took to it like a fin into water. Swap snacks seem to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stat for time. It's a curious sort of mix-up. Not all what I was going for, but life serves up all kinds of surprises. And you survey call folk end up fighting against all sorts of different Pokemon, don't you? If anyone could find good use for my swap snacks, I'm sure it would be someone like you. Boosh. I got some swap snacks. I will never, ever use them. What do you want, dude? Oh, what am I going to do? At this rate, I make a real fool of myself in front of Conlan. Oh, uh, hello. You're one of those kids from the Survey Corps, right? Ah, you might be the person I need to help you out with a little research. My boy Conlan and I are planning to head to the Prelude Beach at night to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. But ghosts scare the dilates out of me, and uh, my son... Yep, uh, my, he's terrified of them. Uh, you'd think we could just not go, quarter to day. But no, I'm afraid there's a little heart set on this. But, uh, you know, a fella can't stay too can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic. For my boy, I mean. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you've got any research data on spooky Pokemon, Ghastly would be a good one. I'd be mighty grateful if you'd share it with me. I do have some on Ghastly, but how much do you want? The completed entry. I don't think I have it. No. Okay, well, that's fine. I can get that. A. Hmm. Oh, no, that's, like, not quite right. It needs, uh, that little extra something. Oh, like, just the boy I need. 
I could use some help coming up with a new hairstyles. I've hit up like a real wall here. A poker would be great for inspiration, I bet. Right now I'm picturing, yeah, like Mistrevious. If I could study a Mistrevious up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new styles. If you manage to catch a Mistrevious, bring it here so I can look, okay? So I do have a, uh... actually no, I don't have a Mistrevious. I don't think she's going to create a haircut that I want, though. That's the that's that's the problem. Um. Hey. What level does Baneri evolve? Because this this I've had this thing for ages. Does it need to have a certain amount of happiness or something? Baneri. Does it just take? Oh, with high friendship. Oh, that might take a little... I've just been levelling it up, thinking... Maybe I can... Hang on, there's a guy around here who can... Who can tell me the friendship of my Pokemon. Maybe he'll... Uh, he can tell me if I'm doing any good. What's up, though? Hey, I hear you're quite the Pokemon expert. I was wondering, do you know anything about a Pokemon that has two tail fins? I saw one swimming along the other day, fluttering its two tail fins behind it. It looks so lovely, I was captivated right away. I really want to see that Pokemon again, but this time I'd like to get a good look of it up close. So if you catch a Pokemon with two tail fins, can you come show it to me? Two tail fins. I'm pretty sure she's talking about Finneon. But she might be talking about the evolved one. Nope, there we go. The way it wiggles its fins is so adorable, it's like they're fluttering in the wind. You've outdone yourself on this one. Thanks so much for taking my request. From now on, you survey kill folk have my full support. Keep giving you all out there. That's easy. Are you going to steal my f Pokemon, by the way? No. Okay. Good. Uh, yes, please. How's my Baneri doing? Zero sense from you. Baneri seems to get on well with you, but I'm sure it could get on better. Should I check your compatibility with any other Pokemon? No. Okay. Might just be easy to catch a Lopunny rather than try and evolve my Baneri then. Alright, well I can worry about that later. Um, photo guy wanted to see... No, 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 not, not the photo. Damn it. Why does he have not have the request at the top, but the clothes lady does? There, it's this one. Oh, a hair is a spectacle. Yeah, I'm certain this is the Pokemon from the photo. Well, now I've seen such a clear example of the real thing, I'd like to get a proper shot. Oh. Damn, I accidentally used my camera obscura and I've purified your Pokemon and sent it to the afterlife. I am very sorry. You know, I must admit, I feel quite relieved to know that it was truly just a Pokemon in the end. And a Pokemon with its own sort of charm, really. I'm glad I was able to photograph it. Do the dead owl photo. Uh, I am due to do one, but the problem is, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I do, because I did one, I've done one with Rowler and I've done one with Dart Tricks. And I do need to do a Dead Owl pose for this one. But I did the Dark Tricks pose wearing these clothes. So let me have a look and see if there's anything new if there's any new clothes I can wear. Uh so she's got flat caps, twisted headbands, festival masks, headbands, headkerchiefs. Ooh, a bowler hat. Now we're getting something new. I mean, I don't look like a samurai anymore, but... It's interesting. Does, is there clothes to go with the bowler hat? Everyday kimono, Pokemon kimono, fancy kimono, festival top. Everyday trousers, Pokemon bottoms, fancy bottoms, cropped bottoms. Ah, there's a suit. Oh, that's quite dandy. Maybe I'll get myself a nice suit then. Still no pink gi. Disappointed. Does that mean there's some nice shoes to go with that? There must be. 
Split toe boots, fancy Zori. Ankle boots. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Eyeglasses. Oh, I can get a monocle. I don't really want a monocle, though. Is there any... Are there any... But I, I can get a monocle. Very fancy. All right, well, for the sake of the photo. I mean, I should be spending this money on, on storage space, but I can, uh, I, I can, I can raise some more money uh, in the gap. So, I kind of want to wear brown boots rather than the matching crimson boots. Or maybe just... No, dark doesn't look good. Let's get some dark tea boots to go with it. Mm, no, I, I'll stick with the... I'll stick with the sunglasses, but change everything else. Oh, look at me. I, I don't like it for some reason. I, I Normally, this is the kind of thing I would go for. But just in this kind of game, this feels like really wrong. No Pompadour, hair, Pompadour haircut yet. No, unfortunately. All right. Let's get Grass Kicker in. Uh, change the screen. So I've been using I've been using the red one, and then changing the filter. But I, to keep it consistent, we'll keep it. Uh, change the lens filter. Ooh, what would the dreamy filter looks like? But we'll take it with the nostalgic filter because that's what I've been taking the other photos with. Take photos. Right, uh, change my pose to one arm out. Have I unlocked any new poses, actually? Just. No. So it's delighted. And then direct my Pokemon to faint. Oh, he doesn't actually. Oh, he's not. He doesn't. He doesn't fall on the ground like the other ones. We'll, we'll stick with Pretender Faint. There we go. That's the photo for next week, next Saturday's... Uh... That's the photo for next Saturday's update. Well, I leave these clothes on since I've gone to the trouble of buying them now. Uh, are there any more? Oh, there's still a couple more side quests I can pick up. Uh, ooh, playing with Drifloon. Seem spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. I don't Drifloon steal children, isn't that their thing? Mickey from the security con tell tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. Okay. Eevee's evolutions. Floor of the construction corps is looking for some advice about evolving his Eevee. Lend an ear to the old champ, see if he can be any of his assistance. Okay. And the taste of honey. Almost from the agriculture corps thinks he's discovered something about Combi Sunny. There are no other requests. Well, the agriculture core is downstairs. Is there a more orangey red hair colour? No, this is... The red hairs are... Um, the hair colours are kind of limited. I This is like the reddest hair that there is. Uh, is there another... 
Is that not the aquaculture? Maybe it's not. Oh, but he... Oh, no. I did have a different mission for that guy, actually. Do I have the... Do I have the bits for him? Um... Oh, yeah. Pot pods. I've got loads of those. Turn this one in. Oh, if isn't the Survey Corps recruit to quell the Lady of the Rich, what can I do for you? Aaron and Aaron's for Troy again. Sending a customer to negotiate for it once was bad enough, but twice. There's his spine. Pestering for goods, and I've already turned my hair out trying to get pot pods. Sheesh. There you go. I have like 45 of the things. Wait, you got pot pods? Would you like to have some, please? Just three? Sure. Like I said, I got just. But yeah. Cobalt's coasters find us for feature. You often find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. Oh, the vegetables. They're best known for the key ingredient in scatterbanks. Those live items are scaring off Pokemon. All right, I won't, I won't send you back to Troy or Failure. Since you kindly brought me these pot pods, tell them I'll set them up with some new wares. Neat. So that's unlocked me some new stuff in the shop. Where's the agricultural department? That's the health department. And upstairs, I'm pretty sure, is just... Oh, this looks like it could be agriculture. These are all just... Oh, he's in the farm. Oh, is this the guy... So I've already given these two, I've given these guys a Gyarados and a uh, and an Onyx in order to tend the fields. I kind of want to find another big snake that I can give them. Maybe I can get them a Basquilegian. Like a Basquilegian floating around is about sort of the same size. But I reckon they want something, something with Rock Smash. Nice to see you again, Mr. Survey Corps. You've got a great time as always. I make the fields even bigger, see? But there's some boulders sitting right in the way. If you know the Pokemon can smash into pieces with Rock Smash, would be mighty grateful. What do I have at the moment? So Rhyhorn, Krogunk. Yeah, not. No, they're too small. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find them another giant Pokemon and teach it Rock Smash. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Give me my medicinal herbs. How many did you give me? Two pet pot plants, six vivi chokes, two bugwort blooms, two bunches of king's leaf. I just want some medicinal herbs. Just literally, just give me loads of medicinal herbs. I don't want of these fancy ones. I just want loads of the basic ones so I can make potions. Ah, <sighs> make everything so complicated. Over here. There you go. Listen, well, I've been gathering combi honey for work, and I'm starting to think that their honey's flavour varies between groups of combi. I'd like to look into the difference more, but that'd mean collecting honey from combi hives in all sorts of areas, and that's a bit too much for this lone fella. That's where you come in. I'd love if you could bring me combi from three different areas. First, we get me from Grueling Grove, would you? I have a combi. No, okay, I don't have a combi from the right area. Okay, so catch that guy, you get loads of combis. That's fine. I'll just go and catch loads of combis anyway, and then uh, just give him the ones that I have. Uh, 
Right, I think we're about out of things to do now, which means... So I need to go and catch that Buizel. Oh. What did this guy want? Is he in town? Maybe I can get. Maybe I can trick a Firestone out of this guy. Like, go, yeah, 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 go for Flareon. Flareon's the best. And then he'll go, okay, here you go. Because you... Oh, he helped this guy with his Eevee earlier. Oh, stars above, where's he gone? Survey Corps kid, listen. Remember the Eevee I befriended with the help of some jube life muffins? Well, he's vanished. I was hoping to get some advice on evolving him, but I can't evolve the little guy if he's gone. Please, help me find Eevee. Come to think of it, a fox work at a galaxy hill were always fussing over Eevee. Maybe that would be a good place to start looking. Okay. If I can get a Firestone, and then just off the back of this, and then evolve... I mean, it's optimistic, but... If I can get a Firestone and evolve Arcanine is like the sort of final thing of the night. And then the night on three... Well, I I mean, I have two Hisian Pokemons. Because he's still a Pokemon. Yeah. Because he's not going to become any more... Uh, Growlithe isn't going to become any more Hisian because he's already Hisian. It's the friggin' deer I need to evolve. I could quickly go and evolve him, I suppose. I know it'd be better if I just went myself, but I might as ask what comes to Pokemon. So please, five one... Oh, that, you're looking... That, you're, I need, I'm already doing a quest for you. For the dead lady. Um, haven't seen an Eevee. You're the nurse I got. I gave a crow gunk to. I do like how, like, once I've given these people Pokemon, they they just sort of hold on to them. And um, like keep them out. It just it makes the it, it it's like. Feels like I'm actually having an effect on the world. Where's Evie? Oh, it turned into an Umbreon. Well, I guess that ship sailed. Really? Evie? Oh, I guess not. My mistake. Seems like Eevee's not here either. Well, something about this Pokemon reminds me of good little Eevee. No, no, it must be my imagination. Bree, bree. What's that? Hungry, are we? So they call kids. If you make me a Jube Life Muffin, if I can watch this kid, this Pokemon chow down like Eevee did, maybe I'll understand this nagging feeling I get when I look at it. I think I have. I think I still have the one he gave me. Uh. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just have. What do I need to craft one? Uh. All right. I need cake law base. I can get one of those from the shops, I think. So blatantly, it snuck out at night, it leveled up, and because it had high friendship, it evolved. That's how you get an Umbreon. I know my evolutions. You want a Leafeon, you take it to a mossy rock. You want a Glacion, you take it to a rock, uh, an icy rock or something. We've got new goods in stock, thanks to you. I know all this has caused you some bother. I do hope you can, can I can thaw things out at last. Thanks, you've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. What you got? Oh, it's my most valued customer. I was just hoping you'd come by. Need new goods again? Yes, yeah, it's the same business all over again. Tao just refuses to supply any new goods to me. I suppose we must be wondering why he refuses any time I try to deal with him directly. Oh, let's just say he has his reasons. Please speak to Tao for me. Would you imagine that you'll have better luck if you bring in some crunchy salt as a gesture of goodwill? Perhaps three hugs to be safe. All right, well then. At least they're uh, consistent. All right, cake law. Uh, I think if I craft over here, it will take it straight from my box.
There we go. Come on. I think I would sprint more. Be like Elder Scrolls style or you know, San Andreas style. I just I increase my stamina. I'm just I'm just as unhealthy as I, I was when I first got here. Anyway, here, eat a muffin. Do you mind part with a jubilee life muffin? Sure. Whee! Dang, 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 dang. Oh, it chow down. It really is a spitting image of Eevee when it does that. Or could it somehow be the real Eevee? Yeah. Whee! This is why Pokeballs are useful, because you can just test. You can just go, is this you? Psst. Oh, it is. Cool. Eevee, it is you. I've missed you, you little rascal. I never thought you'd evolve on your own. I suppose the professor did mention how Eevee can evolve even without any stone at all. So as I haven't got much use for these evolution stones I've set aside for Eevee, I'd like to have one of them. Which would you like? Yay! Firestone! Alright then, use it well. Getting these precious stones took many a visit to the Ginkgo Guild. Oh, I, was, I, I thought it was I was being optimistic, but look, I've got a Firestone! Oh, this is this is gonna be. Let's go outside. I don't know why. It just feels weird revolving my Arcanite, my Growlithe inside. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Firestone. Yeah, hot tuft. Let's go. Sino. With this sacrifice, I grant you power. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, my grass kicker, my hot tough evolve. I'm very tempted to just go and very quickly level him up as well. So I've got all three of them. In fact, I might just. It's not going to take me very long. Look at me. Look at my boy. Look at my boy, Tufty. Oh. Good boy. Let's right, let's get the let's get the three of them. Let's get the set. This isn't gonna take very long. Hey, reports of those mass outbreaks out there. Stay safe, kid. Right. We're just gonna go to the beginning area where there's like loads of weak Pokemon, and I'm just gonna get him to headbutt all of them over and over and over again until he level until he can level up. It's gonna it's not gonna take very long. We are going to finish with three Hissian Pokemon. Right there, kill the Bidoof. One. Oh, damn it, the other one ran away. Two. Is there an outbreak somewhere I can take advantage of? No. Oh, there's an I there's a side quest that I can go pick up. Um. All right, focus. We're just going to kill all these weak things for the, for the to sacrifice 20 Bidoof for your evolution. You avoided it. You're a level 32 Statler and a level 3 Bidoof avoided your attack. You're an embarrassment. I know level doesn't really have much to do with accuracy, but still. Does that use up to? Oh, that uses up double PP. All right, just kill it. We'll have to go. Re we'll have to rest. I thought I was getting through those attacks quite quickly, but I see now using up. Um... Actually, no, we'll still stay here because. Of... 
Using up um, agile or strong attacks uses up double uh, double PP. Yeah, so just keep just gonna keep doing this until it says it can evolve, and then we are we are done. We'll call it a night there. Oh, happy Shinx is. Bash its face in. Damn it! The accuracy on this attack just must be low. But I wonder if, like, even if it misses, whether just using the attack counts or whether it needs to actually use the attack. Because, like, if it's missing, it's still using the attack. That should count, right? Surely. Well, I guess we'll find out. This is a pain in the ass evolution uh, method, though. Like the other ones are, are kind, of, you know, still kind of a pain in the ass, in that you need like rare items to evolve them. But at least it's just literally get an item and then poke it. Ah, dang it, you avoided the attack. Ah, oh, Brain Deer avoided the attack. They're just they're just ballet dancing around each other. Still can't level up yet. How many more does it look like I need to do? No, not you, Magic Cup. Statma. Agile Sty move. 12 times. Okay. So, 8 more should do it. I think. I can't remember if I used any Agile Style moves. It might be more than 8. I, I mean, it'll tell me when it, when it can evolve, so I'll just keep going until it can. But yeah, I guess... I guess, like, with each game, they kind of go, well, we need to think up of... We need to think up a new way to evolve this. We can't just have them all be, oh, they evolve when they hit level 32. Because, you know, that's boring. How about we have one where you have to flip the friggin' console upside down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that won't be a problem on playing on games on the console. Yeah, I just flipped my switch upside down to evolve a friggin' inky. In fairness, that is how you you do it. You have to, I think, you have to put it in a handheld mode. But um, ah, oh, we'll, we'll we'll have a Pokemon that only evolves at day at night, and then we'll remove the day and night cycle from from the games because they they killed the clock. They kill, killed the battery inside the cartridge. Oh, stop dodging. Like, trade evos make sense to me. Trade evos and then qu equipping an item and... and then trading again makes sense because trading was supposed to be the whole... Like, premise. That was the part of the catch em all. Part of the of, of Pokemon. Is that you had to trade to get all of the Pokemon from both versions. So trade Evos make sense to me. Although, again, I do like the the implication that... Like, they they fi they were just... I, 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 how they figured out that if you trade an Onyx wearing a metal jacket, it evolves into a Steelix. It's like, what did... How did we figure that out? 
He's like some guy just didn't want his onyx, and then he just went to another guy. Hey, you can. I, I mean, uh, do you want this? And he went, yeah, I'll take it. Do you do you want to take the steel coat off first? He went, ah, oh, no, you might as well just have it. And then he turned into a steelix, and he was like, whoa, what the hell? What's this thing? Of course, at this point, you've got to imagine that the Pokemon professors are like, okay, right. We're just going to trade every Pokemon wearing all different kinds of items and see what happens. Damn it, stop running away! Yes, that's it. I put someone on so one of the Pokemon professors, or one of the Pokemon uh, postdoctoral research students, even applying for a grant, uh, or applying for a fellowship in the Pokemon universe, is like, I plan to uh, tra trade every single rock Pokemon wearing. We've uncovered a new artifact in uh, in a temple. We can mass produce it. I plan to trade every single rock Pokemon. At different levels with this wearing this jacket to see what happens. And then of course a ten year old figures it out and you're like, oh god damn it, really? That's how That's my life's work. Trying to fit trying to make a Rhyperia. And some ten year old prick from Kanto figures it out. That must be enough now. 18. Two more. Okay, so it doesn't count when I miss. That's what I've learned here. He does actually have to do the attack, which is bullshit. Because I cost me PP, so he is he is using the attack. <laughs> I love how the Badoof at the back there just slowly went, just noped out of existence. Like, it could have helped fight, but just went, just fade away. Okay, so I think we're... If I've only used Agile attacks for the headbutt, then this next one is the last one. However, I might... I might have used Agile attacks for something else, in which case this one isn't the next one. But we'll probably be close either way. So in the next minute or two, we're going to have us a wide deer. Come on, give me the sign that says you can evolve. Ah. Uh. I'm going to be annoyed if I've done all this and then I read it and it's like, oh, but you have to do it only evolves at the uh, between 3 and 4 a.m. I can't have used that many agile moves. Yes, there we go. Can evolve. Ah, oh, all that headbutting finally paid off. Brain deer has finally, finally achieved his brain form. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have three Hissian Pokemon on the team now, plus three losers. Whoop, woo! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. On the best. On the best. Oh, look at you. Look at my boy. Look. Oh, he's a bit smaller than my, uh, my, my mount one. But I guess my mount is like the god version, and he's just, he's just like a regular one. That's fine, it's not, it's not the size, it's what you do with it. My, my poor little tiny deer. 
Professor, I did it. Oh, wow, I'm a ways away, aren't I? Okay. Uh, let's go back to the village. Uh, I think I feel like getting uh, an Arcanine and a Wide Deer is a good, a good place to end on. We started this third stream technically. I, uh, Twitter says that, Twitch says that there's four, but that's because it dropped out at some point. But um, this third stream with no Hissian Pokemon, and now I have three. Look at my boys. So what I'm going to do, because I can get potentially. I can get a Cleaver, I can get a Hissian Lilligant, I can get a Basque Legion, I can get a... I can technically get... I can get an Ursa Luna. Uh, so I can get four more Hissian Pokemon from regions I've already been to, if I can get the items. So what I'm going to do is, between this week and next, is I will... Basically, I'm going to try and clear out all the research tasks that I've got, all of the all of the like quests that I've got. Try and level up my research stars so that I don't have to worry about it. Unlock some more balls and stuff. I'm not going to evolve. I'm going to take Brain Deer, Grass Kicker, and Hot Tuft off my team so that they don't get over leveled. Because it'd be boring if I come back next week and it goes right. My team's all level fifty. Uh, so I'm now completely overleveled for this point in the plot. The rest of the game's going to be boring. So I'm going to take them off and leave them as they are. Maybe get Brain Deer up a couple of levels, but and then try and I'll just yeah I use this as an opportunity to I've got a Luxray and a Staraptor. They'll 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 carry me. Use as an opportunity to level up some of my uh... yeah some of the losers of my thing. I mean I do have a Scyther. I just don't know how good he is. But yeah, I need the item to evolve him. So, yeah. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll try and hunt down the items that I need um, and polish off some stuff so that next week we can, next Saturday, we can hit the ground running. I don't know. I'm tempted to do another day like today where I start at 12 and just go until like go until six, have dinner, and then do another four hours, because it's a long game. It's a long game, and I feel... But I, but we have played about, what, like 15 hours now, and this game's only 20 to 25 hours. If we did that, we might beat it next week, which wouldn't be terrible. And I do enjoy this game. Uh, I'll see how I feel. Maybe, maybe in playing it between this week and next, I'll get... I'll be sick of it, and I won't want to play it that much next Saturday, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I won't evolve the Pokemon. I'll just get them ready to evolve. And then we can then... I can then figure out some names ahead. Uh, well, I'll try and think of some names for them. But we can then also try and come up with some names. Uh, no, I don't want a scatter bang. Get something new, dude. Cool. Right. Well... Oh, we made a good first, good first weekend dent into uh, into Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are three three nobles down, one to go. We're level four. I reckon I can probably get me to like level five or six before next week, just from Oz, just from doing the stuff I need to do. So, uh, yeah. I'm really liking this game. It's it's there's definitely some technical uh, things with it, and like I said, some of the some of the graphics, like that lava. I still can't get over how terrible that lava looks, but it's you know it's really fun, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm st I totally call him the uh, Valo is the bad guy. He just seems like too obviously. I just know he just seems too obviously in the know. I'm too, uh, too interested in my plates. So, yeah, he feels like a bad guy. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's a Galarian coughing. Uh, wheezing. I didn't notice that. That's cute. I noticed the Magikarps, because they the, the little girl pointed to them. But I didn't notice the Galarian wheezings. Ah. Uh, I wonder if they're in this game, then. 
<laughs> anyway, that'll, that's, that'll be it for me this week. I'm going to... Uh... I don't know what I'm going to do. I suppose you don't need to know. I'm going to do something super exciting and interesting. And not just, like, probably, like, check Twitter or something. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, if you did. Next stream's Monday. I'm going to finish Sonic Unleashed. Uh, I, I got the final boss. Literally the final level and the final boss to do. And then it's just going to do some polishing up uh, some of the uh, excess levels. Try and get some achievements before I... Yeah, before I start doing the offline grind on Sonic Unleashed. And there's a lot of grind on Sonic Unleashed. I might just keep streaming. It's tempting just to just keep streaming it just so that I can get it done. But because the, the 3D games do just do build up. Yeah, anyway. So 8 p.m. Monday, Sonic Unleashed. If I see you then, I will see you then. Otherwise, I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching. I've been Jack Dandy. You've all been Just Dandy. And I shall see you next time. Good night. <laughs>